Hey guys, happy Sunday. Welcome back to Smith RC Studios. My name is Lewis Smith. Thank you for tuning in again here at uh, Smith RC Studios. Uh, today we are going to talk about this brand new DBXL 2.0 by Horizon Hobby. Uh, we're going to address a few issues. I've had this vehicle. It's a brand new platform. Had it for a few months now, but not yet ran it. Um, behind the scenes, I've had a few issues. I want to give uh, a special shout out to Mike Taylor over in the UK. Thank you. Uh, He's been uh, very helpful throughout this process, and uh, I'll address that later in the video as well. And uh, part of the reason I didn't run it yet is because I was waiting for the brand new exhaust pipe that was being made by Bartolone Racing um, to install it. Finally, that's done. He sent it over. I think I have the first one. I, I, I installed it here. If you guys are interested in that pipe, it's available at DDM Racing. So you just go there. You guys can order yourself one of these pipes. Uh, so anyway, we're going to get this car running today, finally. Um, I, I will address little minor issues I've had plus little modifications I had to do to install the pipe and uh, let's go ahead and get this thing running okay so here's a DBXL we're gonna get it running let's get this um, take this cover off so there's my setup as you can see there I'm running the as I mentioned the 35 cc um, engine by uh, Taylor RC which is a very very nice engine which I'm excited to uh, get it running today uh, and I'm running a Bartolone Velocity stack there and again I was missing the exhaust pipe for for a few months because there was no exhaust pipe made for this vehicle since it's a brand new platform so I had a uh, Chris Bartolone uh, go ahead and make a specific pipe for this and it's right here I was able to install it um, and again these are available at DDM I think in multiple colors if you guys are interested and uh, but yeah so uh, really quickly um, I have a subscriber of mine, uh, his name is Nicholas, and um, he actually was curious how to install this, and I think he figured it out, so that's, that's, uh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, I, I want to give a shout out to him and his family, I, I, you know, he was telling me that he subscribed to my channel and he watches my uh, videos with his daughter and his, uh, his daughter Adeline, if I, if I pr pronounce that correctly, and his son Ian. And they're both uh, all into RC, just like uh, like him, and, and I think it's very nice that uh, they support the channel. So thanks, guys. But uh, anyway, so you can see here, I installed this bracket here. So, so Chris sends this pipe with this little attachment, but it won't go on here to the engine because I needed this cage. This is the cage that it cut the, the original motor that came with this car sits inside this cage and I don't like running this cage I just kind of basically I'm not even using it um, uh, however to install this piece here you need that cage to be there so what I did was I basically I cut off you can see here I cut that piece right there let me see it's hard to see this piece this plastic piece that had that little attachment and I put it here so you can see that little plastic piece right there and um, and there's the bracket, and the pipe fits just fine. Okay. So I'm about ready to get it started. Um, but I wanted to address, uh, so a couple weeks ago when, it, when I first installed the pipe, I filled it up, and the engine wouldn't start. So, you know, I did all the basic troubleshooting stuff. You know, obviously, the check the carb, and check the, the spark plug, the, you know, I checked pretty much everything, and I couldn't get it started. So, you know, I was messaging Mike Taylor, which, by the way, thanks, Mike, for all the, the support and, uh, and the uh, sharing your, your knowledge. So, um, uh, basically, you know, I couldn't get it started. He sent me a few things I should be doing, and um, after all that, I, I still couldn't get it started. I sent it to, to Mike Taylor in the UK. He, uh, he received it, and he turned it on right away, <laughs> immediately, okay? So, I felt bad because, you know, obviously... Um, you know, we went through all the trouble to send the the, the, the engine in and to send it back, and and uh, um, and he got it started. So, um, but when I got it back, um, you know, there's a few things that he told me to do. The idle screw needed to be all the way in, um, and uh, when you you know when you when you pull it, um, you got to give it a little bit of throttle uh, to to start it. Which which I did all that, and it still didn't start. So I started getting a little bit frustrated. I'm like, what, what's going on? I, you know, I don't want to like you know. Um, keep messaging people and, and so what I did was I emptied out all the gasoline it was which by the way was brand new gasoline I just I, just days before I went to go get it from the from the gas station I mixed up a new batch 
that's the gas I was using to try to get this, this uh, engine started. And I decided for whatever reason to dump out all the gas. Okay, I dumped it out and I grabbed another batch that I made brand new, okay, using different fuel. I put it in here and it started the engine right away. <laughs> so that's never happened to me before where you just get a new batch of uh, gasoline, put it in an engine, and it's not good. It's not a good batch. I, I, I've never had that happen before. But anyway, at least I found out the problem. I messaged Mike. I said, this is, this is what it was. Um, but I just want to say thank you, Mike Taylor. Uh, you've been very supportive and, and, uh, and uh, very nice. So, um, so I'm just excited that we're going to get this engine running right now. So let's go ahead. Oh, a couple things about the engine to get it started, just so uh, you guys know if you don't already know. So in order to get these suckers started, um, so this is a little bit different setup than how I normally run my, you know, my Zenoas or, you know, Bartolone racing uh, reed cases and stuff. It, it's a little bit different in, in the sense that this idle screw needs to be all the way in. So it's all the way in. Normally on other engines, I don't do that for this one because I'm using the 990 uh, fully modified rooster tail. So I put that all the way in and then in order to have it uh, to find that sweet spot so it can idle, I push in the low needle, uh, just a little bit, little increments until I find that sweet spot. So it's pretty much, uh, and then when you pull a little bit of throttle, it starts it right away. So let's go ahead and uh, get this thing running. Okay, <laughs> let's try this out. <clears throat> so I already choked it just a little bit ago off camera, you know, with this, um, it doesn't have any, um, a choke. So you just kind of like the, the boats that I have, all the boats, they don't have a choke. So when I choke the boats, my Zellos or any one of my, my RC boats, when we're at the lake, you cover the, the, the carb just a little bit and it'll choke it. So same concept here. And, uh, and of course, I don't want people to get mad at me. I'm going to be running a filter, okay, which I normally do. All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm letting it cool off. Letting it cool off right now. I'm doing a few heat, heat cycles bef before I do full throttle. Sorry, the ice. Um, but she, she sounds great, she sounds nice. Um, this video, I, I don't think I'm gonna do full throttle. I'm just gonna, uh, maybe off camera, maybe do uh, um, throughout the rest of the day, I'm gonna just go ahead and maybe run it uh, down the street here. But right now only half throttle, do a couple heat cycles. But yeah, let's start it up again. Okay, it should start again, no problems on one pull. Oh, sorry, two pulls.
So yeah, I'm gonna do a couple more heat cycles and uh, maybe run it half throttle, like I said, um, off camera. But uh, tune in next time here at Smith RC Studios and you'll see this thing uh, run full throttle. I wanna see how the gearing, the gear mesh, uh, what, what it does with this, with this engine and this vehicle. So just stay tuned. Uh, next Sunday I'll have uh, that video up. But for now, off camera, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, continue doing these heat cycles and breaking in the engine. Uh, but thanks for stopping by. Smith RC Studios out. Cheers.